I just did a video from back over there. Not, it wasn't much. All I was saying that I was standing on the county of, um, the two counties, Devon, one side, Somerset, the other. And that I'd just, um, done a massive hike up from that coombe down there. And I'm now going to make my way back to, um, Colbone. Um, Yenworthy. I've got to go to a place called Yenworthy, which is half a mile away, and then I pick up a path, hopefully after that. So I've just been to County Gate, over there, there's some information boards, and Dune Valley. That's what I was talking about. Over there is Dune Valley, which my sister Jude has probably visited, but I haven't. That's the first time I've ever stood in that car park. I have been on this road... And I've been going to Devon before now. I have been on this road. But anyway, I just I just walked up that right from right round and down. I'm glad I did actually. I'm glad I didn't just turn back, which I could have done, to pick up um a circular walk. Um I'm glad I, I'm glad I actually went up there and seen that county point there. That was a significant part because I believe now Sugar Hill, Mount Sugar Hill, whatever it's called, is somewhere around here. Because my map didn't go, I only just reached this point, I think, my map. I was tempted to climb up there and I thought, no, it'll probably go on and on. And I'm just going to look at the time. It's probably about two o'clock now. We've got five hours. It's 20 to two. That's about right now. Now we'll just have a look what this uh, sign is saying. Because I'm not actually on the Coleridge Walk yet. This says sugar viewpoint one and a half hours. So Sugarloaf Hills that way. I can't bridle way to yeah yeah we got we we've got to keep on that way. Even though so Sugarloaf Hill viewpoint is down there but I don't want to go down. I'm not sure if it would link up again. There's no sign of Coleridge Walk. So there we are, folks. This is the... I'm in Somerset now. I took a picture of me with Somerset in the background a minute ago. So we're going towards Yenworthy, which is half a mile. I'd actually gone just extended. But you can go on and on, you see. I could have thought, oh, just go on there, go on there. Like I said, those people on the way to Lynmouth will be there before I get back. They would be on their campsite before I get back. Yeah, God, you've got to be very fit to go around the country. And I'm this is going to tell on me. Um, I put lots of deep heat on my knees and I'm um, a big toe. I haven't any trouble on my feet today. Breathing was a bit awkward earlier. I held off some more pest control because I think that affects me breathing as well. Right, over and out, I'm going to take some pictures of this scene here. Gosh, you know, imagine if I hadn't recorded some of my stuff. How awful that would be. See, there's a great big hill right in the distance over there. I don't know what that is. That's going down Devon Way. Fucking great hill down there. But I've just realised, when it says viewpoint to see Sugarloaf Hill, the only Sugarloaf Hill I know is in Wales. So maybe they're saying there's a spot here where you can see Sugarloaf Mountain. I can see that from um, Western Woods in that Sugarloaf. I actually thought there was a Sugarloaf Hill here. Anyway, I'll tell you how far i got to go. And then it's a couple of hours. See that over there? That's Bosington Hill. 
where my campsite's at the bottom of that. That's how far I gotta walk, folks. I've done a load of pounding this morning. I didn't do many videos because we're short on memory cards. In fact, I still got two empty memory cards left. So it won't matter if I break into another one today because I'm doing I'm doing a coastal walk from Minehead to Bosington Hill tomorrow. That's the final big walk up that way. And um, I'm supposed to be doing the coastal path, which I will probably do because I want to do it. Like I've just done the coastal path here and now I'm on the top one and there's probably another one further up but at the moment I'm just playing it safe by just following this path to that farm where there's links links to pathways back there aren't many ways down to the coastal path by the way I think from here there's only two places you can join now what, what I really want to do is go back through Colbone again I don't mind that I feel quite I'm not really bothered about going doing any more exploring now um, <clears throat> like I said could just follow the Coleridge path I will get the map out again in a minute and although Bossington Hill looks far away it isn't really I was walking right down beyond what you can see where those fields are I was walking down on the coastal path yeah. it was absolutely beautiful the trees in those woods down there these, these woods have got the, a beetle these ones here these, the, the spruces but the oaks and all that seem to be all right further down and it's just ma it's magical with the streams, the waterfalls, you know, the, the narrow little tracks for peace because you don't get blown about by the wind down there. I know I, did, I was putting on a spurt because I wanted to really get to the point I got to. And in fact, I've done more because I got to that county point which I didn't know about. I didn't think about it. I didn't know there was a car park there. So I've achieved a little bit more. I've gone that extra bit. And it was only by asking that tractor driver that I hadn't turned back on myself. So where I walked, you can't see because it's over the edge, but it's full of woods. And it goes in and out. It follows the contours. Absolutely fantastic, everyone. I feel really relaxed now because I'm going back as well on a beautiful day. It's a bit blowy. It's supposed to be getting less blowy at the weekend, which is tomorrow and Sunday. So far, I've achieved what I wanted to do on both days. I've uh, Yesterday, I got to St. Perro Church, went, walked around Horner Wood. That was quite strenuous, lots of climbing there. Um, especially on the way there. Look at this lovely heather. Isn't it beautiful? And the gorse. Like the Quantock's a bit here, isn't it? Yeah, I'm looking forward to tomorrow's walk as well. I am looking forward to it. Um, yeah, be, I expect there to be more people about. On Sunday, I don't know what I'll do exactly. Sometimes I just want to get back, but if it's a nice day, I might uh, stop off at East Quantock Head and do a little walk around there. Might do. So it's on the way back. I might not. I might stop at Holford. But usually I've had enough by the time. The four days is plenty, because that's going into the fifth day, you see. I always find with my family tree visits, four days because you get saturated with information and uh, you get saturated with it there's a niner out there where's it gone? Oh, he's moving quite quick that's either a tanker is that a tanker or is that a ferry? it's a liner 
Grimaldi. It's either got people on or don't, that might be a passenger ship heading for Bristol or Cardiff. Right, I'm going to turn this off a minute, take some pictures, folks, of this beautiful scenery. Over and out. Right, a little video. Not, I don't know where I am. I'm following the coast, but I'm not on any defined or proper route. There was a route showing Broomfield or Broom Street, and then it there was nothing. So there's no signs on any of the gates I've had to cross. Um, the, the, all the signs just totally disappeared. So I'm, I'm not on the Coleridge route. Um, I don't know what this is. This is an old drove, but the coast is over there. So I'm just following this. And uh, I'll just have to work out as I go. The maps are totally useless. Absolutely useless they are. So, I'm just following this little lane. The coast is down now, that's all I know. And I'm heading east, one way or another. But normally when, when this happens to me, when I get lost, I, get, I take wrong routes, I end up climbing lots of hills. And it does happen. My walks aren't always smooth. Even though I studied the map, and it looked very clear that the Coleridge Way would be close. This, the broom, I was going to this Broom Street place. The Coleridge Way is supposed to pick up with that. But I am in the sign to the Broom Street. All these sheep are following me thinking, who the hell are you? At least they're sheep and not cows. So I'm, I'm really just plowing through Crichton's where I've had nothing to eat yet. I've been walking since half eight this morning. It's now probably going on for three o'clock and I've had no dinner, no lunch. I've, I've got one bottle of water left. Um, I want to try and eat some cheese in a minute and a tomato. It is quite... At least it's not dark and I'm going in the right direction. Well, I've come from right over there. No signs. Totally unsigned. I don't know how long this goes on for. There's been somebody here though, look. Somebody's had something here. It's a sign of human. And it could be I'm worrying for nothing. And I'll pick up the Coleridge Way in a minute. And all will be happy. But I say it's been quite, it's always anxious when I do these new walks. And because it's still a long way to go, I can't stop to eat. You know, I've got to keep going until I get within a certain distance. I'm still a long way away from Brosington Hill. A long way. And I bet there's no sign here either. And Chris knows where I've got to go now. Oh, a sign at last. A sign. But it never, it doesn't mention, it does not mention, got the bridal way to Broom Tree there, half a mile. Doesn't mention anything about the Coleridge Way. So what should I do? I'm going to study the map. I don't want to go down there. What's the point in going all the way down there? Unless I know if the Coleridge Way is there. It might send me back up here. Right, I'm going to look at the map over and out.